Uh, hello everyone. This is Ram Solat Gibson Gardening for Thai friends uh, to Thailand. อ่าเพื่อนๆแล้วครับครัวอ่าสวัสดีค่ะสวนของแรมตอนนี้น่ะตอนนี้เป็นอ่าเดือนเอพริลที่เมืองไทยร้อนๆตอนนี้จะที่
that's what I've been talking about. And all of these plants that I plant along the way and this, this, this walkway, I personally built that and then plant a lot of along the walkway. And then what you see now is just a volunteer moss that had grown to so many um, years had been uh, put it in the, the walkway is firm and solid. Then here, it's another great layering. You, you have the plant kind of come like that and then you beginning, your eye kind of go up to the, uh, the Chinese snowball viburnum. Then another viburnum next to that, I apologize, I don't remember the name on that one, but they look very, very similarly to the Chinese snowball, but they had a little bit of pink. Uh, um, I, I don't remember that. And then, on front, on the front of what looks similarly, those two complement. I don't want to have the same Chinese snowball covering that whole area, but I want some kind of complement. But slightly different because the other viburnum, the color is slightly pink and it's a pure white. Then I put, um, uh, what's the name of the plant? It slipped my mind. You remember? Akuba. Huh? Not Akuba, uh, Mahonia. Mahonia, yes, thank yes. you. This Mahonia, they come in a different variety. But this one is, I think it's all old fashioned one because I had it more than 15 years and uh, they have a new breed also, the small, small folded. But this one I find that uh, it's very, very a nice, it's kind of thorny, look like a holly um, leaf. But the texture, it's tremendous. You see the berry? When it bloomed earlier in this year, the, 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 the flower is bright yellow. Uh, feed the early insects in the spring. Then right about now, just for this, the white, pure white and the kind of cat's pink, and then kind of different color of green going up to that. That in itself, it's a, it, it, it's a focal point from the, if you look, everything is framing each other and that's what I've been talking about. Any plant in any place in the world that will kind of have that, what I'm talking about, texture, foliage, colors, and knowing the size. Sometimes you're going to have to kind of trim that to keep that layer. But you don't have to have the specific name of plant. It may not grow in your area. Okay? So, and this is what I'm trying to, to, uh, share with you today. So now coming this further, a sail here. Uh, that that is a car bell. Uh, this this is another car bell. And again this plant been here more than 15 years. I hardly don't do much about it. And uh, because my garden put it balanced and I mulched it every year. They just kind of bloom right about the time, you know, they're so beautiful. Then this is camellia to give another layering and also to, to again, I'm going to come back here. This is up like, uh, upright you. Indeed, it's the lawyer front because they have a similarly texture, but they don't look the same. So again, uh, the name of the plant is not that critical, critical it, you find the plant that will do what I just explained. And it doesn't matter what corner of the world are you at. So you come in told you come to another gate. We have three arbor built on the trail. So what happened, we, we, we built those section first. At you see, years later, we built those section and then we finished it right here. Years later, I built this pond and then created this, this section. Created it woodland area here. Then, they 
connected to each other like this they connect it to each other and they keep on going then uh, if you kind of wonder how will you connect the part that you build section at a time this is how you do it so this years later I built this and then I'm kind of thinking about okay I got a lot of folded texture there and then because I put the U right by the gate right there and they have a carry through like I've been talking about when I put another boot U here this is pretty much very very shady in this area and then uh, this section have a bend because have, have a sitting bend because I put the uh, waterfall here it kind of like we are coming to the resting place in the morning or anytime right about now you want to have a glass of wine a cup of tea you finish cleaning up your kitchen or finish feeding your kid you grab a glass of water or a cup of tea or a glass of wine or something like that you can walk in here right now it's about almost seven o'clock so it still look really good it's very pleasant and uh, here again in the shady area like this you wanted to select the plant they would have the light color folders I don't remember what this is you know what it is Cody but anyway uh, you can take a picture on the TV and then you probably have app that 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 would uh, tell you what it is if Cody can come that will close um, um, pedestal that's what it named pedestal ped do I pronounce right? I think so yes pedestal that's what it is this one happened to be taller but it out in the sun this one is gonna be a lot lighter uh, more uh, more white the color will be a little bit more intense but for here it's right here because of that it kind of it never bloomed because it's in the shade I never see pedestal bloom in my garden anyway so um, kind of soft what you see there that is a Japanese maple this it's a cypress this one high above uh, this one Cody Cody this one above rise above pedestal you see that that it's cypress called the fall uh, cypress the leaf when I bought it it said um, grow to be like maybe 10 feet the most but look but I planted here more than like more than 15 years now um, since it want to grow so I just went ahead and limped it up, limped it up and to open this whole area right here. So this whole area, uh, when I build a waterfall and I plan all of this. Uh, I'll go that direction later, but today um, we are uh, 15 minutes. Not yet. But today we're going to talk about the landing along the walkway. This is the creeping frame azalea. Did a uh, sweet box the ground carbon version, the one that you see earlier, there's a butch version. This is a sensitive fern, and I have some hot stuff that would do well, well here. I'm not gonna go to the depth, the detail of the plant, but I'll, I'll, I'll name them and uh, just for you to know. And along, along the walk, uh, along the bottom. This it is a strawberry car bell like they said or some other name for that but I heard people said you know I know this thing at the strawberry car bell so they coming they have a white stripe then I plant it below the pedestal very gay they pretty much the same color even though they corner dark but they lift each other up and you see it right here and and this of course when you have the light you have to have the dark to kind of bows the light if you have all light 
you will not recognize the light. And uh, another thing, I like to go back to Cody and pull this out real quick. Cut more lightly. It's hard to find. You may not see it in a lot of places nowadays. Did it the Chinese sweet trap came from China? I think it's the Chinese sweet trap. Beautiful plant, and again, it said that it's not supposed to grow more than about maybe five, six feet. But look, all the way to the skyline, and then it bloom for me every single year. And then uh, this is the flower, beautiful flower, very beautiful, very exotic looking. The leaf, it's very, very tropical looking, and and this this is not blooming yet. So, starting to bloom now, it may bloom all the way to many more months. This one that went well for me, and the scientific name, I don't know. I just know the cinnamon, cinnamon uh, what, crimson color, Chinese uh, sweet trap. So, uh, if Cody can show you, it, it, it blasts something in the cavern, I better move that because we are losing light. So I'm gonna go back that way. Then uh, come through here. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, come to here. Around the pond on the back. Um, at Cody, come you see camellia. You see Laura Pelham, the white color. You see the. Uh, Cuba, you see um, Florida anus, and you see some uh, camellia, Sashenkwa, and you see another camellia because this woodland area they do very well, they like the, the kind of environment. Then all the learning, I, you, you see here, did all the learning. Japanese paint up front, it's great to plant in the dark area because it help it, it help the light it up. Uh, yellow is great too. And this is a uh, Christmas fern. It's native to here. So I just let it grow. And this I hot star. I don't have a lot of virgin or big leaf, pasta and all that. I used to have them, but they don't do real well for me. So because of that, I take whatever do well here and then they're pretty low maintenance. And this is another hot star among them. This is another um, su uh, sweet box, the ground covering variety. This is like this all year. Little gem uh, camellia both sides. Uh, I don't want to talk about that part right now too much because we are not finished yet. So um, then uh, through here, this plant you probably be recognize it kind of grow everywhere but I like it because it's covering the ground and then because the plant is covering the ground in the summer I don't have to water that much because they kind of check each other root and indeed I put the, the white Chinese snowball <laughs> then this is the white uh, joe table azalea to kind of light up the whole area as you're coming through here and then uh, this walkway is very short but it packed with plants and uh, we had the tree that been cut down, the, the American maple. But instead of taking away somewhere, I just let it become the part of the natural uh, garden. Thinking in the art term, art never clean. We learn with the nature the thing that kind of broken down, the thing that uh, happened there. And then because I left, the, uh, the, the stalks from that tree here. Look at the beautiful mushroom. If Cody can go the wheel close on that. 
from what I I understand that is called the turkey tail uh, mushroom they grow on the tree mushroom grow and I just put a statue on top of that there's another log that grow beautiful mushroom for me that is the plus for nature it's not the minus so um, along the walkway here there's a carex this is my cat uh, her name is cat and come coming through here to the bird how many minutes uh, 20 minutes 45 seconds to the bird to the sitting swing which I show you uh, before I come to here then here we are from the woodland all the way to the fence here and come to the walkway right close to my house all of the trail are connected and everything along the walkway it had a rise and the rhythm carried through the whole garden and I don't do it all one time. I did it um, um, that section and then I did it section then I do that section but how they kind of combine together themeless because of the ground cover and because of the plan that you use to create uh, the layering and the, the combine the texture and, and the color together uh, just like I said you might be watching in some different corner of the world look around what worked for you to create that so Today, I, the point is, I just want to show you that uh, don't take much, take thought. This plan that you plan, you see here, I built this whole walkway that you see, the sitting area and all those. Then uh, allow the nature to help and then a lot of plants that you see, I personally planted them when they was about like this. So now the gardening is just like this. Um, I'm just trying to tell you, yes, you can. If you want the garden of your dream, you could. But just remember, you only do it one day at a time. And uh, come right down to it, do one hour at a time. It keep at it until you reach it but understand you're never gonna finish <laughs> you don't want it to finish <laughs> I don't so because of that I'm gonna come right here got a good lighting yeah everything on the back yes yep okay uh, Cody and I have to commute. Me, we learning by the way, and thank you for supporting us. And we, we, I think we're getting better, better. And for today, I will say thank you for coming visit the gardening after the sun go down. So you hear the birds singing. You know, I have birds everywhere in my garden. And then uh, this plant is called Fetsia. It love environment like this. So for Thai friends, and thank you very much for coming to see my garden. Cause I have so much, I can't take it all in. I need to share to the world, basically, and for Thai people. And uh, I, I love to share this garden with you. And then every day I wanted to show one part of, of my garden that will make you feel happy. And uh, for America, uh, Aston area, uh, Aston, Georgia area, thank you very much for supporting us. And then we will try to improve to what we're doing. And then uh, today for being with us, and I say thank you for your subscribe, and I say thank you to everyone, and Swati Thailand.